there you have it 33 notches or uh, little diamonds the magic of YouTube makes it seem like it's pretty quick but this actually took the better part of five to six hours so now we're going to work on the ends and uh, the finishing and of course all the detailing this is just rough work right now So moving on to the topper or the claw section, we have this crystal, which if you see through the light, a little purple, we're going to have to insert that into the top. So we've got the diameter of the crystal, a little extra where the three claws are going to go. And that's the base where it's going to meet onto the stick and a lot of material to take out this is three by three oak so with the dremel and a few cuts all bits trying to get down to fit the crystal in so we have a uh, half the diameter and just keep checking to make sure we're getting the proper diameter as we go. A little bit longer to go through.
Just wanted to give you a little update. So we have light sanding. Just finished up the little dot pattern inside the weave. Secondary handle tapered down to the base. And where we are on top, we've got a little more details on the claw. Got the uh, walnut talons in. The uh, crystal ball is going to fit on top. And carved out a little spot for, there's going to be a logo that goes right there in the middle. Probably that size. So just about to join the two together and then we got to taper all this down. It's going well. So we have a 3 8 rod. Let's see if I can focus this. 3 8 threaded rod here, matching hole, and we'll line that up, glue it together, two part epoxy, and then trim all this down and have it all come together. I think we should have finished the uh, production part. Let me see. This is a big stick, so I'm trying to move it around without hitting everything. So we got the claw on top. And let me just try and see. Here's the crystal that's going to go on top of it. And that's going to fit in like that. We're going to epoxy that in right at the end. So we got the claw with the walnut talons. Got a logo here. That's a client wanted his logo on there. So that's just in um, permanent marker, permanent pen. Uh, once we put the stain on, we'll see how much that comes through on a little emblem carved in. Got a beautiful spiral. Coming down to a handle here. This is going to have a paracord wrap. Then we did our Celtic weave, little dot pattern on the inside. That's going to make the uh, make these inside parts darker when we stain it. 
Got a secondary handle. This one's not going to have paracord, uh, but put a little, as you see, a little divot in there. Makes a nice handhold. And tapered it all down to, um, I think it's going to be a three quarters uh, little rubber tip that's going to go there. Total, this thing is seven feet, uh, six feet long. So as you see, it doesn't even fit into the shot here. It's quite long. It's mostly for uh, decoration, ceremonial. It's not meant for a walking stick. It's a bit too big for that. Um, well, I mean, I guess you could take it if you wanted to, but mostly for uh, ceremony. Uh, client wants it for a specific, uh, all this is symbolic. Uh, so wanted all these specifics. So we are now going to put a stain on provincial, nice medium brown color. So let's get it going on that. So a little uh, little bit of cotton, cotton swab, or um, cotton cloth, just in a little clip. It's easier to hang on to for these larger projects. Just show you the color here. This red oak really soaks up the uh, stains well. Oak always takes stain very well. So you see that's going to be a beautiful finish. So it's going to take me a bit to stain all. So I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like. So we've got three coats of polyurethane and what we're going to do, well, you see a nice shine everywhere, the light catches it. And now what we're going to do is put a uh, wax coating just to uh, give it a nice final, final look, a little bit of protection. This is a mixture of uh, beeswax mineral oil and uh, Tripoli, which is a uh, very, very fine polish, like a dust, basically. It's uh, pumice almost, but very, very fine. And then what it does is gives it a nice final, final hand polishing. I'll be putting it on and then going through a whole buffing process by hand, to, especially with all these ridges, to then take it off, but it'll leave a, uh, a beautiful finish to it. Almost done, getting there. So we completed putting on the wrap, it's a black paracord, wrapped it all up, tied the knots in. We also epoxied in the crystal that's on top. Let me see, let me change here to get it in the light. There we go. So the claws don't quite touch, I wanted to leave a little bit of space. Got the logo in, the claws coming up, 
Got the nice twist here, paracord wrap. Of course, have the Celtic weave, Celtic knot, however you want to say it, with a little dot pattern on the inside just to darken it up. Adds a nice contrast to everything. We have our secondary handle down below. Nice, uh, nice taper to it. Gives a grip. And of course, taper it everything down to a small three-quarter inch uh, rubber foot. This is a big one. Uh, really nice details. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I, I certainly like the symmetry up top of the three claws. And a nice twist. All out of red oak. Hope you enjoyed the build. And we'll see you on the next one.